Hey guys, um, it's me. Uh, I know I'm playing music at the moment. Uh, shall we play it softly in the background here? I know it's very quiet, but I wanted to uh, do um, something more different than uh, normal. <laughs> that is. Um, yeah, hello. Welcome to our stream. Um, not stream, I meant video or whatever. Um, next time if I ever do a, uh, like a live stream or like when we're waiting on people, um, I'll play that. But, for now, we're gonna stick to qu quietness or whatever so you can hear what I have to say. We're here to play a game! Yay! And don't mind background noises they can hear that is currently going on downstairs. These wall- my walls and my house are not the best, and my sister's playing my, um, what is it, the, uh, like, a kawaii, uh, like, a ko like, a ko p something piano, but it's also a keyboard at the same time. But today, we are going to be recording an episode of... A game you might have not have heard of before? If that makes any sense. I must must have butchered my grammar is bad there. I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm not the best at talking. Especially when, you know, your videos are unscripted most of the time, so. Anyway, sorry for not posting for so freaking long. I try to make something and um I actually tried making a gaming video for today. Um no, no, not today. I meant, like, earlier in the week, but apparently when I was trying to record Virtual Sailor stuff, um, that was supposed to be the video, um, the encoding was weird, and it did not really do really well. I tried, like, it was good for the most part, but then, like, toward the end, it, like, was frozen, and I hope it doesn't do it again, otherwise you're never gonna see this recording ever. But let's hope that it does come through this time, and it doesn't mess up anything, as far as I'm concerned, and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I've been, again, I'm sorry I've not been very active very much, um, on YouTube as I used to be, like, you know, of course, but I'm in my senior year of high school, which means I have to focus on more sh adult stuff, like, you know, college, and figuring out, you know, getting through the last couple of months of the school year, which is insane, because this year kind of went flew by really fast, um, for some reason, and it was longer, it was much, no, it was much shorter than the, the, my junior year, which was the one where I took online school for, like, about a year, and, um, it was a really long drag, but now we're in senior year, and I wish that, it, you know, I would stay, you know, kid forever, but sometimes you can't, so, I'm, like, what, like, how many days until June 19th? Uh, that's my birthday, by the way. How many days until June 105 days. I have 105 days until I am officially 18 years old. Which is, um, it's like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> it worries me. Um, because now I'm proceeding to be an adult, which means I have to, you know, go to college. Sorry for that briefly cut thing there. But, um, yeah, college. <laughs> Where was I? Okay, college. Um, I'm currently in my senior year of high school, which I just mentioned, like, a thousand times already. And, which means I have to do a bunch of shit to get through high school. And then suddenly I'm off for the summer again. Um... I'm hoping that during the summer, I can record, um, you know, MCSM Season 2 stuff, because it's turn- um, Season 2 is turning five years old this year, so I didn't make, like, time to do that, and the only, um, and the problem is, like, my-, my one of my colleges I'm looking at, like, has, like, a- like, a thing where it's like, oh, start early and stuff, and that's, like, on August 1st or something, and that might be- the first gaming video I might ever post during college would be when I record the episode for MCSM. So, that is the 15th of August, which is like, again, 15 days into- or 14 days into the month, and that'll be- I'll be still at the college, which would be interesting, start the year early for me. 
um, because originally the uh, see, the thing doesn't start until like August twentieth or something, but twenty uh, something. But I thought it'd be nice to like go a little early. I'm still thinking about the option. I know this is kind of a weird thing to talk about because you know talking about my life doesn't make sense. I feel like that's something that would, I would bore the hell out of people, and I don't want to do that, but that's just giving a little background of what my recording schedule is going to be. Um, as far as March goes, um, I'm going on a trip later this week or so, um, like around the 18th and then through the, you know, spring break and stuff, and then school. In April, I'm not sure what we're doing. I know that there's a Titanic... Um, a thing that we need to, um, address here, like, Titanic, um, the Titanic sinking, which is later this- I might make another Virtual Sailor episode, um, on that day, depending on when I need to record it, which is Thursday and Friday, so that's Thursday or Friday, either one of the two, but, um, yeah, that's about with that. And then, like, May is, like, the final league for that. Um, like, it's, like, the, it's the month. And then June hits, and, like, on the 10th is my graduation. And then I'm gonna go see a concert, Weird Al, um, like, a couple days after that. And then, like, it's pretty, pretty chill for the rest of it. And then, like, you know, once July is over and stuff, August rolls around, and then, you know, it's, um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what it feels like, anyway. So yeah, that that is what it's basically going to be. And then I'm going to be eventually in college, which I'm going to be recording videos from college from now on. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm not sure when my last episode of High School Shenanigans is going to be, but um, I know, I hope I maybe can end it off with a bang, or maybe not, because it's kind of just, like, stupid random posts. And of course, I need to name something. If I'm ever going to record in college, I'm going to be like, hey, uh, uh, I'm not sure what to call it yet, but I might do it. Summer Vlogs. Now, that's a series I haven't heard in a long time. Wait, no, 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 wait. I gotta, I gotta do the appropriate music. Hold on. <laughs> that reminds me something. Hold on a second. I need to find it. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of something. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait. I gotta find the- Hold on. I gotta find it. Okay, no. Okay. Okay, it begins right here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hold on. So, um, yeah, uh, Summer Vlogs, isn't that a- that's a title, huh? Summer Vlogs. Summer Vlogs, huh? Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long, long time. A long time. Well, you know him. <laughs> Do I know him? Please. I'm the one who created it! It's been so long since 2020 decided to fuck up everything, but now I'm back, and now it's probably gonna be returning, or back, or whatever, I mean... <laughs> oh, wow! Okay, whatever, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> okay, whatever, um... That... Yeah, so... <laughs> besides that little skit, yes, yeah, summer vlogs may make a return... Um... This year, because, uh, the last time I've done one was like three years ago um, I've ever done a season because 2019 was like, oh yeah, we were gonna go see this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then we get back uh, and then like, you know, it's Wisconsin and then, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then like 2020 kind of was supposed to have a seasons, like three seasons, but what could happen? <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, that ha this happened. Uh, COVID kind of messed things up, and then tw 20, so 2020 didn't really do much of anything. I went to go on a trip with um, my brother in June, and then like in July, we didn't really do much of anything, as far as I can remember. And in August, we went to... to Wisconsin. No, 
because the smoke kind of backed us up. And then we went to Wisconsin in September, which wouldn't really make much of a difference with the... Because it's not summer. We kind of spent home at, in, in August. And in 2021, we... Went to Vegas in twenty in June. No, we didn't. I don't think we did. I don't, I don't know. It, my my, my memory is being an idiot. Oh no, we didn't because I had school and I got off. It. And then July we uh I went to um w like nearby an opal mine near Winnemucca. Um, we didn't do much in July either. And then like August we went to um we went to uh, Wisconsin again. And that's about it, um, for the summertime, and then now, in 2022, we're back on our feet doing stuff, and then now you see that we're gonna go to, um, SeaWorld which I'm hoping to record, or at least get enough storage off my phone to able to record that, because I haven't seen Weird Al Yankovic at a live concert since, like, when I was, like, 11 years old, or since, like, 6th grade, when I started middle school, and now I'm at the end of my, I'm at the scene, at the end of my senior year of high school, which is crazy, um, that happened, so, and now, in July, I think we're gonna go to Florida for, like, a couple of whatever, or so, or whatever, and then like August, I'm not sure, and then of course August hits, and then I'm, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna probably, it depends on what happens with the college, but I'm visiting there, I'm visiting the college in spring break, on spring break while we're going to Sedona, so, um, yeah, it depends on what happens, and then like, I'll be going to the school, um, yeah. Um, hopefully I can get to- and that's where I'm gonna be from the time now being. Now, I'm nervous about that shit, because this is, like, a new thing for me, and, you know, I bet a lot of you are feeling the same way, but I'm really insecure about that kind of stuff, because emotion- because I'm really emotional with that stuff, where you- when you've been with your parents for, like, so long, especially when you're- they've been so nice to you, and it's like, now you have to leave them and be independent. Like, it's something I wanted, but I never thought it would- it would hurt so much like that, because, I mean, I had those feelings, but they didn't pop up so often. And then now I'm doing it, and I'm like, oh gosh. And especially when I've been living in my, in this area, like, in, in Oregon for, like, so long that I've grown to, like, friends, and then I'm not gonna be really going anywhere that really far away from them that they're gonna be or so, and it's like, you know, you're used to those kind of people, and then you move away to a different location, and you're like, oh, I have to go back to square one and make friends! Yay! I mean, I'm really good at making friends. I'm kind of quiet at first, but then I start talking and stuff. I'm like, hey, yeah, you're, you're, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're friends now. Good, you know. A little mishap here and there, and then boom. Uh, it's, it's, and now I'm gonna be in Florida, uh, for, this is, this new people, but it's gonna be new people, but I don't mind, because Florida, at least, they're not really strict about the COVID shit that's going on in the world that's still happening, which is, like, crazy still, even though it's been going on for two years. Um, but yeah, anyway, enough of, like, 14 minutes of updating, uh, let's hop right into Virtual Sailor! Um, so a little background on Virtual Sailor, I played this game when I was, like, really young. And, um, oh god, okay, whoa, chill down, that's like right in my ear, okay, so, so Virtual Sailor is like a game that I played when I was like, really young, uh, I don't know how young, I forgot, but I, I believe it's, a, it was around... It was either before, like, nine years old or something like that, or whatever. Um. Yeah, I, I need this. I, dark gray, what? Oh, whoa, whoa, this is, oh, this is nice. Okay, that's, it's weird. Uh. Nah, I like Air Force. Because it makes sense. Full screen modes. I'll accept that. 
Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna... Let's see if this actually works, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, the only thing about, like, Virtual Sailor is that it has a weird cutoff, so I can't really do much there. But you're gonna have to see my background here and stuff, but... It's fine. Nothing to be worried about or anything like that. But let's, uh... Oh yeah, this is a boat that we're gonna get to soon enough. I like that shot, actually. Um... Let's go ahead and resume. Uh, I finally figured out how to load stuff in here when the, the program's gonna crash. Um, when it crashes like that, just re- give hop, hop, hop onto the game again, and then, like, you're- you're good, you're- you're fine, you know, you're good and stuff. You hop onto the game, we're Gucci, and, <laughs> um, hop onto the game- you're hop- sorry, I had a massive brain fart. Hop onto the game, then reload the save- and then, like, you know, you, um, you know, you get, you, and you try to put in this, like, this kind of boat again, and then it, like, it works. So this is the Mauritania. Or the, the thir 1933, um, year, whatever, um. So as you can see, this is the NG version of, uh, Virtual Sailor, which is... The next generation, um, one. I played the... the game that was released, like, 7.5 or something, back on my old- very old computer that I actually had for years. Until, like, you know, I finally got a laptop and I kinda strayed away from it and the only thing I could- the only way I could play it was on the, uh, the, the game on, uh, on the old computer. But now, I have the NG, which is totally much better. You can tell by this is, like, the water and everything, and blah and stuff. Oh, the brakes are on. Whoops. Daisies. Uh. That's a mistake. Okay. Um. Let's go back to... Let's go to through with the, um... Let's go with these, uh, the... Let's go down the line with these vehicles that I got. So, let's add this. This is a American flight thing. So this is one of the- um, I gotta take F on lock. There we go. Woo! So this is American Flight, which is cool. Can we, like, change the weather? No, make it clear. There you go. So these are pretty quick. They're kind of fast, you know, you're kind of... So this is nanometers that they're, I think they're, con they're calculating here. Oh, is that like an engineer thing? What the heck is that? <laughs> Full steam ahead! Oh. That's the joystick. Anyway, without being out, without further ado, that is a plane. Why does this water seem like it's not, like, deep at all? Like, why is it not? Here we go. This is deeper water. Okay, so we're gonna spawn in a a ship, obviously, but we're gonna have to Well that's flying around. No, oh, I didn't want the design. Get out of here. I'm getting used to I'm getting used to like the uh the controls and everything. It's kinda difficult. So now let's add in the big area. Now, the Bengaria is actually a real ship. It's an actual ship. No, like, joke there. Like, absolutely no joke. Um, let me quickly just... Oh, wait, I'm on display capture. Whoopsie, daisies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That was my fault, even though it completely looks fine. 
with the with the whatever I mean on it. So uh, let's quickly get rid of the. Oh shoot. Uh. Oh, there's two of you. What? What? There's two of you? Oh god, I realized I have. Yes, get out of here. I, I realize there's two of you. Well, I guess we all know now that we can turn this off. Um, this is actually a real ship. Let me just pull it up. The RMS Bengaria. Um, let's see here. Let's quickly, like... Oh, it was called, like, different names? Huh, weird. Um... Yeah, so, let me show you the Bengaria real quick. Okay, so here it is. This is the ba This is what the Bengaria is supposed to be. Apparently, it's called a different name. The... I forgot, what, what was it? Uh... The Imperator? What? Armus Imperator. SS Imperator. What is that? No, I didn't want to look that up. Oh, that's a steamship. That looks like it's it had seen better days. Imperator. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Real quick here. A second. Yeah, this thing. Or the, whatever. Um, Imperator or the Bengaria. Uh, Bengaria. Um, is what the ship is. Uh, or what... Or what not. Now, I'm gonna make sure that the, uh... What is it? The, um... Virtual Sailor window is working good now. Alright, so, that's the Bengaria. A little bit of a... More of a... Um... More of like a... Like a, you know, a ship that... An autopilot. Stop. So let's, um... So this is the Bangaria. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to activate the horn in this game. Even though I tried countless times at doing so, trying to do it. <laughs> so here's the... The wonderful Bangaria. Oh. Oh, that was... Quite the shot. I always like how they give you these like really cool shots to shoot the the boats like that, this or make you view the boat this way. Um, I remember in the original game that I played, they actually had a person every speak every time you have uh, you go onto something, like on board this like on board this this insert boat name like. They even read out, like, the name of, like, the, uh, different, what, like, the, you know, underscore, underscore, like, they would read that, and it would be like, yeah, that's nostalgic. <laughs> okay, so, I figured out what panels are, uh, let's see here really quick. Where's the horn? Oh, uh, here we go, yeah, this is what the horn is. Yeah, that's what the horn sounds like. It's been so long since I heard that. Alright. Let's go take it to the skies again. We're gonna be... Uh, another vehicle. Whatever thing. Uh, let's add it to the scenery here. Throttle! Now, I believe this is the plane that crashed in, uh... Yeah, it's a PSA flight. <laughs> it's just a default horn. What? What are you doing? You're going to space! What the f- Oh, you're living it out. Never mind. <laughs> so yeah, this is a PSA flight.
As I remember correctly, though, um, PSA Flight, uh, like, they are, hold on a second, I'm gonna remove on that. There was a flight that was, <sighs> there was a flight that, 182 or something, yeah, um, let me see if I can maybe, like, show an image of this. This might be graphic. Yeah, this might be graphic to, sh to show, but, um, it's history, so... Why, like, you, you, you just can't show it, you know? So... I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with disaster stuff. What do you expect me to talk out of? Like, what do you expect me to do? Um... Let me see if I can quickly, like, pull up Display Capture or Chrome window to make it easier to see. So there is the... the thing. <laughs> there's the there's the plane. This is the PSA-182. Um, if I remember correctly, this crashed in Los Angeles? I think an engine failure occurred, and it crashed like this, or something like that, which is insane. And then, like, right here, I think this is where it was, but then they cleaned it up. The crash- this is, like, where the crash site was. Um... Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was, um, it was pretty bad. Um, I don't know how many people died, I forgot, but, yeah. Anyway, a uh, little bit of history on that, or so, or whatever. Uh, let's, let me quickly find the window that I need to show here. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on me, because that would suck ass. I do not want that. But I have to put up with it anyway. Why is there- t oh god, I forgot there were two of you. <coughs> oh god, excuse me there. Keep in mind there's only two, like, windows up and it, like, it looks like there's... Okay. Uh, let's see if that does anything. Uh... No, it's not gonna do much. Just, uh, it's gonna be annoying to deal with. Woohoo! Into the water! So, let's spawn in. I'm just making sure my window's still working, because last time it did capture this, so it'd, be, it would suck ass if it didn't. <laughs> Big gear. Oh, it's another plane. I didn't realize. You know what? What's that in the water? Because it. The, all he did was end up there. Oh no! Captain! Ah! <laughs> so, um, say hello to Air Florida. Hold on a second. Never mind. Let's go through aircraft first. Because I would get it taken up, taken care of first. Add vehicle. So say hello to say hello to Air Florida, and this was another um, disaster that happened. Um, I believe there's a black box recording of this. Be free. So yeah, that's Air Florida for you. Yeah. It's nothing too bad. No, I didn't want to add another one. Shit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, um... Really quickly, though, I'm going to... Turn off the display capture real quick here. And show Air Florida. Air Florida. All the commotion down there, I'm sorry about that. So, 
Yeah, Air Florida, it was Flight 90. Uh, let's show real quick here. So yeah, this is Flight 90. This is the, the flight, or the whatever, that was used. Or was in... Or, or was involved, I should say, in the crash. Yeah, people did, like, little mini documentaries of it. And, like, here's, like, the tail of it. I think it crashed in, like, a river or something in the middle of, like... Yeah, the Pony the Potomac River? I think that's in D.C., wasn't it? Or something like that? Yeah, the plane wreckage. It was... Yeah. Yeah, this is the stock image. This is quite high quality for that. Yeah, it's in, it was in DC. Yeah, it was in DC. Yeah, so that's a little information on that. Um, back onto Virtual Sailor, though. Uh, let's see here. Um, trying to find the right window. There we go. <laughs> find the right window. Okay, alright. Let's see here. So let's add this vehicle. Woohoo! Not designed! You ding that! We're gonna. Oh god, we're gonna crash, aren't we? No. Throttle up, throttle up, throttle up, throttle up! Ah. <laughs> Just love the noise, the, the sound effect that they do for this. Textures seem to be a little bit off. I think that was the case for something else too. Yeah, this is United. The old looking plane. Ah, damn. The old looking plane. So, making sure this is still being recorded. Because, you know, I don't want that to mess up again. Okay, we're good. No, I didn't want to add two of them. Dang it. No. This one's... I'm getting used to these controls, man. No! I added the th mm. I'm so used to having, you know, remove vehicle on this side than here because, you know, it's something. But, yeah, we got a mini sub to show. Um, after showing aircraft there. Um, this is a mini sub. And what's cool about this one is that you can actually um, make it, you know, submerge. As submarines always do. So let's see here. Auto stop. No, I didn't want auto stop. Lights. Reverse, no, we don't want that. What's cool about this is that you can actually... Go down. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. Keep it leveled. Ah no! Don't go down. Up, up you, up you fool, up you fool, up. Up you dang fool. Yeah, but there you go. There's an example of, uh, of a submarine. Even when it doesn't listen to you. <laughs> I 
And what's cool about these, um, submarines is that, not radar, it's, yeah, you can actually fire weapons. Yeah. Oh god, whoa. Whoa, what are we doing? Stop! I didn't ask you for this, man. Well, I guess that kind of failed, and now it's stuck on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Alright, so... Large ship. We already covered the. Okay, there's an also there's an also Edmund Fitzgerald. Who likes the Edmund Fitzgerald? Me. Um, as you may know, the Edmund Fitzgerald. There's no horn. Or anything. Just. Just Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, again, I'm gonna close off of this, and if you don't know what the Edmunds Fitzgerald is, how dare you? How dare you not know the Edmunds Fitzgerald? Um, this is, again, this is an actual ship that sunk. Uh, spoiler alert. Um... It sank... Hold on, let me give me a second. So it sank... It was one of the boats that sank, like, in the great, uh, what was it? It was, like, in the, uh, oh, hi, what are you? Why do you have to be there, you dumbass? <laughs> Ghost, you say? Wait, what? There was a ghost involved? Hmm. I feel like that's a photoshopped, but... Yeah. yeah Edmunds Fitzgerald. Uh, it was a boat that sank in the Great Lakes. I think it was a cargo ship or something like that, but... Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty, uh... Yeah, it was pretty bad, too. A lot of disasters are bad. Um... Of course, but... Ah, crap. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Edmund Fitzgerald. Um, let's make it full throttle. Sadly, there's no horn involved, but yeah. There you go, there's Edmund Fitzgerald. And then we got the Mauritania, uh, the hospital version. This might crash the application, but we'll see what happens, because that's normal for when virtual sailors trying to load ships. Happens all the time, dude. Uh, as it's loading, uh... Okay, just stretching out, sorry. Okay, I said it's going on. You gotta be patient. Sometimes these take a bit. Oh! Oh, what a miracle! It did not crash this time! Uh, that's funny! So yeah, this is the... This is the Mauritania. Uh, it's pretty cool though, not gonna lie. Let's be honest. It's like it's dying. <laughs> So cool how they design these ships. It's really amazing. Is 
not fast enough. Yeah, we can faintly hear it though. For some reason, the wake of the water is like up ahead, like that. It kind of sucks though. It sounds like a sailboat. But overall, it's a great model, to be honest with you. Well, let's see here. What's the next boat to spawn in? That one? I'm not sure if this is one of the ones that. You know. Okay, I guess they does, but it's the one that's broken. Sadly. <laughs> and it doesn't have a horn. I didn't want to add a second one. Dang it. Get out of here. See, ninth, the Britannic is the one I remember the most, though. Because we all love the Britannic, don't we? Um, we all know it's the infamous, famous sister of the Titanic. I mean, not the Titanic. I mean, yeah. No, I didn't want to open- Ah, crap, I opened up another application I was not supposed to. I didn't mean to even open Cinema 4D. Ah, crap. I didn't want to open you, you dang fool. I didn't want to open you, you dang flippin' turd. Out of here with your sentimental- Get out of here. Get out of here. G-Force, I don't need you right now. <laughs> uh, 1960, this is Britannic. But while we're waiting, I'm gonna quickly show Britannic, because why not? And while we're at it, we can look at the HMS Mauritania. Mauritania. Yeah, so this was actually a real thing that happened um, with the Mauritania. It was converted, and I think, I believe it had Dazzle design to it as well. I'm not quite sure. Britannic. Yeah, this is the one that's really famous. Um, golden era of transatlantic voyage. Yeah, the 1910s. Okay, so, um, are you good- are you good now? Oh, it did spawn in the- the Britannic, except it has a little bit of a sunkage to it for some reason. I don't know why the gravity is kind of pulling it down like that, but, um, maybe because it, maybe it's detailed. Ah, crap, thing's in the way. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, hit on. There. Yeah. I don't know why it's doing that. Throw power! Not ah, dang it. Wait, is it because the... Is it because the Britannic's too low? No. <laughs> yeah, it has a little bit of like a little bit of a weight for some reason, but it's fine. Move you fool, move! Move you dang fool, move it! I was just checking real quick, it's recording. Okay, let's... Hang on a second. There it goes. When it starts to pick up, it does that thing, though.
It's a bit laggy though. Yeah, the wake kind of feels broken. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the Britannic for you. Uh, the eight, okay, let's see. I think this is the one with the Dazzle Pain, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is the one with the Dazzle Pain. Yeah, the horn, it, it's weird to have to click on it like this because... Yeah. So that's, this is the... The Olympic here. Um, this was actually a real dazzle paint thing. So let me quickly just turn this off so it's make it easier to see. Uh, you don't need to see that. So back to what this was. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Armus Olympic dazzle paint. I spelled Olympic wrong. How dare I? Oh, uh, yeah, so, but, yeah, I get the point. This is, yeah. It was a dazzle camouflage thing. It was supposed to, um, I think it was supposed, again, it was supposed to, like, you know, confuse enemy ships, um, as I covered one time in a video, like, ages and ages ago. So yeah, we are back. So we can put back virtual sailor here. So this is that boat or whatever, which is nice. Adjust it, but not adjust it. Let's remove it. Uh, jet ski. This is just a normal jet ski. This thing is like going mad. Look at this. So it's just a normal jet ski. Oh, I. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, it's done for. We went too fast. And now it's gone now. I guess we're too much for it. Anyway, Liberté. 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 This is a boat. I thought I had a horn once, I guess it doesn't, um, yeah, but this is the Brute. Um, this was an actual boat, but it didn't have flattened funnels like this. This is kind of like a cheap model of it. <laughs> little Norway. Us, uh, yeah, Little Norway. Little Norway. Now where is it? There it is. Yeah, Little Norway is like a little boat or something, which I don't really know why, but it's it, that's what it is. <laughs> the Amos Holiday! This is another one of those, like, cheap boats they made, uh, completely on, like... Yeah, so it's like completely like a cheap thing or something like that they made for like the game. <sighs> the MS Titanic 2. Now, that's a ship that I need to have updates on because that this project that they've been working on for so long needs to come out already. And it said that Titanic 2 might be launched this year or so. I think... I'm pretty sure it's, it was this year they announced that it would happen, but who knows. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty cool what they done. That's a cheap... Heckin... Horn, how dare you. Yeah, so... The news about this boat is that... I know it has extra decks... So that's why it actually look. That's why it looks taller. It's, you know, it makes sense. And of course, they have the modern eye, like the modern um, lifeboats, which is nice. But this idea of bringing back the Titanic would be um, is pretty cool to see. But 
let's just hope that history doesn't repeat itself. Repeat itself. So that would suck ass if it did. Uh, let's see here. Um, the MS Poseidon. Now this is a boat that um, I movie I was obsessed with as a kid. Um, especially if you've seen my, like, old videos of, like, the sock puppet stuff. I know, it even sounds weird to say it, because you probably haven't been around that long, but yes, it was a thing. Um, unless you haven't heard about it, it was a, it was a couple of movies based off the story, and it's about, it's, it's based off the Poseidon Adventure. It's where, like, you know, these people, this ship is going, you know, New Year's and stuff, and blah, 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 having a good time, and then suddenly disaster strikes, and then, you know, you have, you know, this to... Yeah. Look at that. You little idiots. You didn't change the... Yes, this is the Poseidon boat that was used in 2006. 2006 was when they remade the movie and like did it this way or put the boat as this like a fictional boat which is interesting so we're flying through the boats here um martini 2 i forgot what this one looks like i think this is one of those cheap ones as well <laughs> the cheap ones yep exactly as i thought Martinia 2 is actually a real thing. Look it up. <laughs> uh, we did mini sub. What about mini tug? Did we ever do mini tug? No, we didn't. This is what the mini tug looks like. It's Mitchapian. Whoa, chill out with that thing there. Yes, what if we actually went completely ballistic? Whoa! It's still fine, apparently. Damn, okay. Surprising for a little tug like you. Yeah. Oh, I had another one. Dang it. I keep doing that. I didn't do that last time when I was recording. Oceanos. I think that's a Greek name. I think this is one of the ones that didn't work so well. Never mind. Apparently it did work this time. Look at that. Um. Look at that. So the Oceanos was an actual ship. If you can't move more than that? What the hell? So you can move is that? Oh, that's boring, man. Wow. I'm right near the propellers. That's a have a bad sign, don't you think? Yeah, Oceanos was actually a, a Greek ship or something that was a real thing. Uh, let me. Okay, I'm gonna search it up again. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, so. The boat. Um. The Emma's Oceanos. Was an actual boat that sank. Uh, let's see real quick here. Yeah, so this is what it is. Um, that's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie, looking back on that. Yeah. Rough waves cause it to sink. Look at that. It's crazy how. There's a documentary I watched of it that was, you know, was it was interesting to tell what, what this was about, and this is what the boat looked like. 
And then this is like where it started to take on water. I think the only the, the only like person that survived like that no not survived that died was um the captain. And everyone ever got out safely. It's nice to see that Yeah. Oh Theano thinks I think this is a video I watched when I was younger. <laughs> um hearing about it or something like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, so that's an example of that um thing. Now we're back into the game. Uh, MP Poseidon, I tr MP Poseidon, Poseidon, I tried but it didn't work. Brumen, I think it's decent. But it's, it's like a Libre color, recolor. Normandy. It's one of the, like the cheap ships, but it's nice. Um, so this is like um, a boat. Um, that was also a real one. Let's see here. Uh, it was also a real boat. Um... The Armus Normandy. Yeah. It was this boat thing. This this boat. It's a French one. Um I think it caught on fire. What was this it was its fate? Was the fire that it caught on like in New York City. It was um Uh, let's see, Oceanic. Well, this one I think is more detailed. Let's go down to the... Yeah. Oceanic. How long have we been recording? I'm making sure. Okay, we're nearly recording an hour. That should be enough content for you guys. So wait patiently. There we go. Boom. The Oceanic. It's pretty cool, like... I think this was an original ship that was supposed to be um, built, but it was like it was the idea was scrapped by the time I didn't want to hook down anything. Uh, Carpathia, uh, let's see, let's stop. Let's show Carpathia, and then we'll circle back around to Martin in 1933, which is what we started with in the begin very beginning of this p of this episode or part of playing this game. So let's spawn in the savior of the Titanic. The Carpath, the RMS Carpathia. Who has a default horn? And it st still scares the crap out of me. So he this is the Carpathia. Which sadly, um, was a boat that, ten that didn't survive the First World War. Uh, it sank, sadly. Um, but it's nice to have the ship, though. But this is the Titanic savior, everybody. The people that the, pr the very ship that brought the people back to New York. And uh, yeah, the Empress of Ireland. I don't remember if this one was a detailed one or not, but it's one of the ones. And this one sank. It looks. Like. I don't know what the deal is with these. Um. Full throttle! Go 46 knots! It's like they're sp like the, the, the ship is spying. 
Thank you, fool. You're not worthy. You're not worthy of it. <laughs> I got into it Italia recently, so I kind of like subs with accents. Oh, I forgot this is shallow water. So you're kind of just laying there in the air, or laying there. Yeah. The Majestic, 1922. Let's show these guys. Aha! The RMS Majestic. That was actually a ship that was a real thing. Um. Yeah. But this one's broken. All it is is just stuff and things out of place. <sighs> Sadly. But what we're gonna do, let's spawn in the Martania. 1909, that is. It's 1909. The 1909 version. The sweet, sweet 1909 version. Over 100 years old. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this one is a cool one. Okay, so Martania is more detailed. It's like the um the one I showed earlier. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the Mauritania. Before the, you know, the hospital ship and all that, so it's nice. Can you kind of hear the horn there? So here's the... It's pretty cool though, honestly, look at this. Let's see here, let's let it Let's make it go faster. Alright, so we already know the Martini. This is what we began with. And the next episode, whenever we get around to it, we are going to start with the Oceanic. The Oceanic. Actually, to make it more, uh, more memorable. We can just spawn in the oceanic and then just, you know, do all that. This thing is huge. Oh my god. No horn at all. It kind of sucks to end on an episode, but... <laughs> but yeah, um... We'll start with the Olympic next time when we go on here. Um, the ori the original design that is <laughs> the the uh, the much original design. Um, yeah, the, like the much original design, like the the very first like concept for it. Anyway, um, yeah, that was Virtual Sailor. I hope you guys enjoyed that little playing, and of course updates at the beginning and a. Do apologize for running off and rambling on, but I'm glad you guys stuck with me the whole time. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye. <laughs>